Must be nice, all right? white <laughs> balance. <laughs> It's just funny. I just like my fans. All right. Appreciate everybody being patient. I know you guys got to visit with a few people. Um, certainly an awesome environment. It always is here at Autzen. I think our fans are unbelievable. I think there's an awesome concert going on out there right now. Um, there was definitely some pieces of, the, of, of today that were a little bit sloppy and makes me wish we had some more practices, uh, but also some points of improvement and things that we can go attack. I appreciate our guys' effort and the enthusiasm out there on the field. Um, certainly think we have great talent to be able to go out and compete and excited to build uh, from here so we can open it up for questions. The defensive line felt like a focal point today with the way they played. How encouraging is that for you, especially when you had so many people, so many pieces of that defensive line leave for the draft this year? Yeah, uh, I'd have to go back and watch the film and see exactly how it was. There's probably some advantageous matchups, but there's some guys out there that can certainly play for us. And, and if you want to win football games, you got to win it in the front, you know, both sides of the ball. So uh, excited about those guys that we have, you know, on that on that group. Uh, there's some young guys that I expect to step up and have bigger roles than they did last year, but also a, a group on both sides that we continue to develop. What were your impressions of your quarterback play, particularly from Dylan and Dante today? Uh, you know, I think all of our quarterbacks um, had some some really positive plays. I know there was a couple of plays that series would have probably kept going if the ball was caught. Um, but I have to go back again and watch the film to get it to get a, a really clear look. I mean, I think we saw some good things from Luke and Austin as well. Um, you know, and even, even Brock it, when he was in there. So I, I'll, I'll go see the film, see how it looks. I, I feel really good about our quarterbacks, though. I really like the group that we have there. I think we have talent in that room. Like the ball carriers today ran with a lot of physicality, tough running. Just speak to kind of what you saw there, and, and especially I guess at running back with guys like Jay and Jordan. Yeah, I mean, I think Jordan. We've we've all seen what Jordan can do, um, and really impressed with that. And I think you know there's other guys that are really doing a good job growing in that room. Um, I'm going to go back and look. I think there's some of those plays where we could have been more physical and look for opportunities to attack um, with even better pad level. But overall, um, I think we know what we have in that room, and we have some guys that we can compete with. Coach, good to see you. I wanted to ask you about a couple of your young defensive backs, uh, Dakota Fields, Aaron Flowers. Seems like they had pretty strong days. Uh, what have you seen from them this spring and just to, to come and, you know, soak it up as quickly as they have? Yeah, it's really hard, you know, to be able to come in and compete, you know, uh, especially as a freshman in, in this defense and what we ask these guys to do. There's a lot that they have to absorb. And sometimes days like today are awesome days just to see those guys go out there and play fast. You know, obviously Dakota had a big play. You know, Aaron had some great tackles. So uh, we've signed good football players. It's our job to continue to develop them, but excited about their growth. Dan, your perspective on the wide receiver group today and, and particularly Evan, uh, what you saw from him. Yeah, I think it's it's hard. I know everybody here is going to want to talk about today. I mean, I have to speak on what I've seen all spring. And we have some talented guys in that room, um, which is great, you know, and we've got to continue to eliminate some of the MAs that are going to occur when you're learning stuff new. But I see burst, I see explosion, I see guys that attack the ball, um, you know, when it's in the air, um, grab, you know, big catch radius is the ability to run after catch. So it's a, it's a deep group for us that I think there's a lot of guys that can help us. Dan, when, I mean, when you see so many guys go in the draft like you've had, um, you, I think in theory you would at least think that there'd be some obvious holes or drop off at certain positions. But especially in, in, the, in this day and age, what is the key to being sustainably good and not having a drop off when you do send a big class like this off um, to be able to you know, take, continue to take steps as a program and as a team? Yeah, recruit well and develop your roster, right? Uh, understand the strengths and the weaknesses of your team and continue to, you know, build into that and always prepare with the future in mind, right? It's, you know, obviously we're getting ready for this next season, but, it, you know, next, the season after that's going to be just as important and how we recruit and events like this are huge for it. You know, there's a lot of recruits out there today watching us play, right? But they're not going to impact next season, but they'll impact the season after that. So we have to do a great job of developing our young guys that we have here uh, and continue to build our roster. A lot of times when you ask coaches about their goals for the spring game, one of the number one things is to come out of it healthy, and, and that didn't seem to happen today. Is there any updates on any of those players? And just I don't have any us? update right now. I'll get with Chief here in a little bit. I think we have some you know dings here and there. Uh, but overall, you know, I think our team's going to be in good shape. Yeah, I guess just yeah, as a coach, when you when you see something like that, does it frustrate you at all? Or no, football's football. I mean, is it frustrating for the player? I'm frustrated for the player that you know they get you know banged up. But football's football, and the only way to get better at it is to play football. So we, you know, you only get limited amounts of time that you can actually go out there and play. Um, we've got time to be healthy, but time we get to spring.
Coach, I believe you had seven players drafted in the draft. Uh, what does that mean to you, and what do you tell your team now when you have that many players that get move on to the next level? I think it was eight, right? Eight, eight not bad, right? Um, no, I think that's exciting. Now it's about getting more of those guys in the first and second, right? Like I'm, you, You're so thrilled for people that work their tails off for an opportunity and they compete so hard for the Oregon Ducks, and for that to turn into future for success for them. Um, that's something that we're, we're really excited about. Those guys put blood, sweat, and tears into uh, their efforts here, uh, and I know that's going to carry over well. There's you know, some NFL teams getting really good players. Justice got in the end zone today. Has he shown leading up to the spring game that kind of that kind of stuff you've seen that from him in practice? Kind of yeah, speak to his spring. Justice is you know consistently uh, been a really good player for us. You know, Justice has to be able to be healthy, and when he's healthy, he's definitely a guy that can make an impact for us. Past couple of days have been a little bit of a whirlwind for you. Obviously, cross country flight. What was it for you personally like to be there with Bo when he got drafted? Then what was your reaction when you saw Troy go join him in Denver today? Yeah, I thought that that might play out, um, having some late night conversations with teams, um, you know, about our guys. But getting to share those moments with these players, again, if I feel like it's a small piece that we can give back um, for all they've done for us. And, you know, seeing some dreams live out is, is pretty awesome, especially when you can be there with the family and experience it firsthand. I realize every year every team is different. I, what do you want this the DNA of this team to be when fall camp arrives and going into the season. Yeah, I think the DNA traits for us aren't going to change, right? It still has to be about connection, growth, you know, toughness and sacrifice. But yeah, every team is unique and every team is different. And it's about growing up together, right? So, you know, this spring, I think our, our team grew up a ton. You know, going into spring, I, I knew we had a talented team, but we had to become a team. You know, I think I saw a lot of that throughout this, this spring. What do you want some of the leaders on your team to attack when it's whether it's player led practices here in May and June or it's on their own, whether it's still and going to 3D QB or Jeff with individual workouts, Jordan with individual workouts? What do you want your best players to be doing over the next 90, 100 days? Getting better, getting better. I mean, I'm just excited to see these guys continue to work. You know, just because spring ball ends doesn't mean we don't continue to improve. It was uh, the first time that a lot of players uh, got to run down the tunnel and maybe put on a real Oregon jersey and take the field. Um, when you're talking to those guys during the, the spring and, and you'll continue to talk to them after this game, um, how do you think that'll kind of fuel them for the uh, next time that you take Austin Stadium? Yeah, I saw some smiles on some guys' faces, you know, them being here, being a recruit and being a player are two different things. So getting to wear that uniform for the first time, see our fans, you know, how passionate they are about what, um, you know, we're doing here. I think that was a lot of fun for those guys. So not next time it's a real deal. Uh, going back to the draft, I believe there was like 16 wideouts taken before Troy. Were you a bit surprised that he didn't go earlier? And did you have a conversation with him at all overnight? Yeah, Troy and I visited. Um, yeah, I'm certainly surprised that some teams uh, missed on an opportunity to get him, but I know that Troy's going to take the, the best of that, make the best of that opportunity that he got. And I think he's going to a great team and, and coaches that understand his strengths and getting to go play with his former quarterback. So you, you can sit here and worry about what everybody else uh, and their situation is, but I'm excited about the situation that Troy's walking into. Coach, one of the guys that uh, was kind of flying all over the place today was uh, Ben Roberts. Seemed like he was super active and involved when you're replacing guys like Brandon, Casey. Can you speak to Ben's development and just where he's at as you exit spring? Yeah, I think Coach Tuioti's done an unbelievable job with our defensive line and continuing to develop it and grow it. Um, you know, and Ben's certainly one of those guys that's embraced what's the technique required to be successful at the position. You know, D-line is a really technical position, and uh, Ben's done a good job this offseason of attacking that. Evaluation period for you guys for recruiting. Can you just speak to just the importance of these next couple months? I think this week you talked about how recruiting official visits in June is big for you guys. Just what's the next couple months going to be like for you for this program? Yeah, we always recruit. It doesn't ever feel like we're not recruiting, but we're going to get an opportunity for our coaches to get out on the road and go see some people in person, um, get to be around them, you know, guys that we want to target and find out about some guys that are out there we probably don't know about right now. So um, you're always looking for ways to improve your roster, and that's what we get to be able to do in the next few weeks. Tatum Tuioti was making plays all over the field in pass rush and pass coverage. What have you seen from his development from year one to year two? The exact same thing. I mean, exactly what he did today on the field is what he does in practice every day. This guy's gotten bigger, faster, and stronger. Um, he's very intelligent. You know, he's becoming – you can start to hear his voice out there on the field. So, really proud of, of Tatum and his growth. Take a couple more, James. 
How different do you feel about the secondary today compared to when Kyrie would be out of a game and when teams were really potent in passing would be able to attack you guys there? It seems like with what you addressed and what you brought in via the portal, did you really overhaul the secondary? How differently do you feel about it then? I feel like we have a team that can compete and go win. Um, I feel like we have a good group, you know, at, at, at several positions. So certainly feel good about the secondary. Take one more, Ronald, in the back. Defense overall played really physical today. What do you think will be sort of the difference from, you know, a season that goes to this year's defense? Well, it's a new team. You know, not really anything that happened last year has nothing to do with next year other than the continuity of the coaching staff, what we're you need to build, some players getting older. Um, but you want to see growth. You want to see them keep, keep developing, keep getting better, playing with the tenacity, raising their own standard of play, um, you know, what winning football is to them. And I think we have a group that will embrace that. All right, thank you.